Hi there, it's Pete. Hope everybody is well today and um, enjoyed that little blues, 12 bar blues and E that we done last time. Um, hope you're doing well, Phil. I'm sure you are and everybody else. And that backing track, I'm sure it helped you keep in time with everything. That's absolutely brilliant. I have actually got three or four, might even be more in that. Um, more backing tracks on that little playlist which um i find very interesting i love playing it along with the backing track it just keeps you in time it makes you feel good because it sounds real bluesy and um because as you know blues like, comes from the heart and soul really so once you've got the basics i'm sure you'll go far then and yeah you feel quite good when you actually play play the blues. And um, so what we're going to do today, I did say that I was going to redo the chords again in the previous lesson, but I don't really think I need to. I think that lesson really explains it quite well. And you've just got to keep going back to that if you want to do the E blues, um, 12 bar blues and E. Just keep going back to that back and track and all your chords. Um, in that little lesson that we've done and I'm sure you'll get better and better as time goes on um, right so what we're going to do today um, like I said I was going to redo those um, E, A7 and B7 but I don't think I need to so we're going to do something new we're not going to do too much um, like I said I have got some new backing tracks so we've got an 8 bar blues in A there so have a go at that uh, we'll have a look at that next time. And also there's a shuffle blues in A. Um, if you come across there's a, like a percentage sign, that means play the previous chord. But if you look at them, I think it's the shuffle blues in A, or it could be the other one, the 8 bar blues in A. When you see the um, percentage sign, you're here actually, when it lights up, you're actually here, the previous chord being played. So it just might be one or it might be three. Um, just do the previous chord. Um, yeah, so it does sound a bit funny, but um, they've, that's how they actually write it down. That's something to look um, for in the backing tracks. So what we're going to do today, we're just going to do a straightforward G blues. And I'm going to show you how to make seventh chords. So we've got a G for four. This is the G blues, which we're going to have a little look at. Nothing else, really. We're just going to learn a G, C, and a D and make them into sevenths. Um, so we've got a G for four, a C for two. We'll play out it in a minute. A G for two. Then we've got a D for one, a C for one, and a G for one. And a D for one. That's that little turnaround on the, the last two bars. Um, right, so what we're going to do, we're going to have a little look at the C, G, and a D. And um, right, so a C chord, really just, just these one, two, and three fingers, really, and there is a couple of open chords as well. Um, so your first finger. It's in the second fret of the first string. This is a C major. Your second finger is in the fourth string of the second fret. There it is. And your third finger is in the fifth on the fifth string of the third fret. So there you are, right there on the fifth string. <clears throat> so that's you in just a regular open C. Rings out nicely. If you wanted to make it into a C7, which um, you can just have a little look at this in your own time, really. You put your pinky in the um, third, on the third string, third fret. That makes it into a C7. So while we're doing the C7, I'll show you how to do a D7. Just by... It's quick magic by sliding the f to the first up the first finger in the third fret, just sliding up a tone which is two frets. That 
makes it into a D7. So we've got a C7 down here. Slide it up to the third fret. Makes it into a D7. And if you want to slide it up another two frets, that is a E7. So we do that again. So we've got a C7 down here. C up to two. D7 up to two. E7. And if you want to do another one, just one semitone, which is just one fret, that is an F7. It doesn't sound quite so good as you go up, but that's like a little magic chord. It just turns. So C, make it into a C7, up to two, a D7, up to two, E7, up one is an F7, because E and F are very close together. So, um, right, so, <clears throat> that's a quite little magic word there. I mean, it's great to use that. And it does sound nice and bluesy as well with that seventh your little pinky on that third string, third fret. So it's just nice to practice those chords, really. It does sound nice and... So what we're going to do, we're going to learn our C chord, which we we just just done really. But we'll have a look at it again. So G, I'm sorry, C, G, and a D. Right. So let's just do our regular C a minute. So our regular C, the first finger is in the second on the second string, first fret. Um, finger two is on fourth string, second fret. And your um, third finger is on your fifth string, third fret. So that's your just regular C major. We won't use a pinky this time. We're just going to do a C major. Right, we're going to do that again. We're going to double do these just to make sure. So your first finger is on the second fret of the first string. Your second finger is on the fourth string, second fret. And your third finger is on the fifth string, third fret. So that, that is your regular C. So now we're going to do a G. So your G is like that. You can make it into a G7, which is like that. But we're just going to do a normal G. Right, so your normal G, open G, is your first finger. It's on the 5th string, 2nd fret. Your 2nd finger is on the 6th string, 3rd fret. And your 3rd finger is on the 1st string, 3rd fret. So it's right in the very bottom on the 3rd fret. So that's your G major, just your open G major. We'll do it again. So your 1st finger is on the 5th string, 2nd fret. Your second finger is on the sixth string, which is there, look. Um, second, sorry, um, second fret, third fret, sorry. Let's, let's do that again. <clears throat> right, so this is a G major, so your G major. First finger is on your fifth string, second fret. Your second finger is on the sixth string, string, third fret and your third finger is on your first string third fret so that's your G major just an ordinary open G major so now we've got a D major a nice little treble sort of sounding chord so your D major your D major your um, first finger it's on your third string, second fret. Your um, second finger is on the first string, second fret. And your third finger is on the second string, third fret. 
So just play it from the fifth string down. Try not to play that that uh, bottom E string, which is on the top. Right, so let's just do the D again. So your first finger is um, third, first finger, third string, second fret. Second finger, first string, second fret. And your third finger, second string, third fret. So that's just your regular C, G, and a D. So if you know them already, you can play this G blues. So this G blues, we've got four bars of a G, two bars of a C, two bars of a G, one bar of a D, one bar of a C, one bar of a G, and one bar of a D. So normally the um, the last sort of like two bars of say the 12 bar blues or eight bar blues would be the turnaround part which just turns it round and it starts all over again. <coughs> right so we're going to have a look at this G um, blues. Right so G blues we've we got four bars of a G so we'll just do that four bars of G so counting one and two and three and four. 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 So that's your four bars of G. So we've got two bars of C now. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Two bars of a G now. One. Bar of a D, one and two and three and four. Bar of a C, one and two and three and four. Bar of a G, one and two and three and four. And a bar of a D, one and two and three and four. If you want to make it sort of more sort of bluesy, you can do a bit of that sort of thing, sort of palm mooting. So palm mooting really. I'm not going to go into too much stuff, but palm mooting, this is just to make it sound a little bit better really, it's sort of your palm of your hand, or just that part there, you can hardly see that, can you, I'll go that way a little bit, just that sort of part of there, you're just touching the strings a little bit, and if you touch it too much, it will take the strings right out, there's actual sound, you won't hear anything hardly, so if you just do it very lightly, just like that, that's called palm mooting. Right, so we'll do that again. So we've got four. I won't actually say what it is. We're just going to do four, four G, two, two C, two G, one D, one C, one G, and one D. So this is your G blues. I might do that again. I lost count. So we've got to do four Gs. last chord you sort of emphasize it a little bit more because that's where the actual turnaround is just finishing. Let's do that again. So we've got four G's. One 
G. One D. Okay, just do that with the last the, the last D. Start again. today <clears throat> and I um, hope that was okay Phil just try and do it in little bits and, and all these backing tracks are really helping um, it sort of keeps me in, in time as well we'll just have a look at these three chords again which is um, we're going to make that C into um, a C7 slide it up to a D7 Slide it up again to an E7, and if you wanted to, a F7. Um, we'll have a look at that in the next lesson, perhaps. Da da. So um, I hope you get on well with the G blues. Uh, there's lots of different ways, like I said, you can you can do your chords. But I thought this. Um, I expect some of you would know these um, open chords: a G, a C, and a D. So um, yeah, as you're actually doing it, try and make up some words, make a song up. Great fun, right? So that's um part two i might just do a part three and then i'll leave it to you to um to actually uh do whatever you want with it so um yeah i hope that's okay phil and everybody else who wants to have a little look at the blues um i love the blues and um yeah so uh hope it's uh okay phil and it's not not too hard hopefully um, I'm sure the, the G blues would be, because a lot of people would know those chords. So, um, yeah, happy strumming. I'll see you again. Cheers now. Bye. <laughs>